on today's New Hampshire beer tasting from Great North Ale Works. I have IPA. <laughs> Now this India Pale Ale comes in at 7% ABV. Um, Great North Ale Works is out of Manchester, New Hampshire. There's the can art. Uh, some hops all over the can. Uh, this was the first beer uh, that I did have from Great North Ale Works. Uh, and I always thought it was a, a pretty solid IPA, especially uh, for what uh, the pricing is on it. Uh, you can get these for about nine, anywhere from eight ninety nine to nine ninety nine for a six pack. Um, this came in a twelve mixer. Uh, got this for sixteen ninety nine. Um, had four of these, four tie dyes, and four of their RVPs. So let's go ahead and crack into this one. So with this pour, the coloration on the head is kind of a yellow, fairly tight bubbles, clarity, it's got a little bit of a haze to it, but you can see shadows, objects through the body, um, coloration on the body itself I am going to put this thing at it's like a deep gold uh, to amber so let's just call this one I'm going to go with like an uh, 7 to 8 SRM let's see with the book So 7 to 8 SRM, we'll put this between uh, deep gold to pale amber, which is kind of what I was saying. Um, so... Deep gold, pale amber, that's these two right here. Should be 6 to 9. Yeah, I don't think it really goes into the medium amber. So, we'll go with the 9 as a pale amber. The aromas... Not really getting much from a distance. It's kind of like a sweet orange from afar. Let's go in a little bit deeper. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a sweetness to it. I was just looking at the canned on date. This was canned on 11-6-2018. Um, so, it's about two, two and a half, three, three quarters, uh, of a month old. Uh, it's almost, almost three months old. So this thing is at the end of what typically an IPA would, uh, be good for. So, um, I think usually it has more of a, uh. An aroma so there's a bit of a sweetness it might be might be like more malt and stuff coming through at this point kind of a citrus tea 
First swig. All right, so it's kind of a uh, a bready maltiness, bit of a tea flavor, and then uh, a little bit of citrus bitterness coming up after that. So this uh, was a mixed uh, twelve pack, so I thought these might be fresher because the packed on date was actually in, in December. On the box, so. Uh, but all of these seem to have been packed, uh, actually canned the month prior, so. Oh, jeez, hiccups. Um, anyway, I just ran out of time. Alright, so where was I? I had so many videos still in my phone that it used up all my space. Uh, so I had to go through delete everything uh, that had already been put out. So, yeah, um, it's an older IPA. Uh, I think this one is a lot better when it's fresh because I have uh, had it a few times in the past. And this is probably, you know, if this was my first go around on it, I, I probably wouldn't have purchased it again. So kind of like a, a bready malty flavor. Um, then uh, kind of like a, a citrus note trying to come through. Bitterness. Um, it's fairly well balanced. Other than that, uh, being being old. Um, and the mouthfeel on it. It kind of has a bit of a, a smoothness. A little, little bit of a softness to it. Um, and then kind of a medium to light carbonation. So just with that, um, mouthfeel, I know, I, I think the body on this is kind of like on the medium to medium full, like the attenuation was, uh, Probably a little bit higher, leaving some residuals, residual sugars um, in there for that uh, heftier body. But yeah, yeah, overall, right now it's just. Uh, All right, um, it, I've I've had this before, so I know it is better than than what I am tasting and what I'm putting out on video. So, guys, uh, try some stuff from Great North Ale Works. Uh, not a bad brewery here in New Hampshire. Uh, just try to get some fresher stuff from them. Uh, they do put out some uh, other more craftier brews as well um so yeah cheers and thank you for watching